Hello everyone, the doctor is back in, here for some G1 goodness. I have for you G1 Headmaster Horicon Triple Changing Snapdragon. About the only thing he doesn't do is combine. Uh, this here, uh, mine is, is um, it's a little loose, uh, but it's, it's not too bad. Some of the joints are really tight. There's a lot of sticker wear, um, or lack thereof, stickers. Uh, it's a kind of a jet mode here. Uh, very little kibble, which is nice. Um, at the bottom, uh, the guns on the side are removable, um, as well as the two blue fins here. It's part of the jet. Uh, I also have his little headmaster here, Crunk, uh, which I'll, I'll uh, show you here in more detail in a minute. Uh, but he can, uh, you have your, your painted cockpit here um, in this little compartment, which I guess is also a cockpit. It has a little uh, command center um, decal there. Uh, Crunk can uh, fit into the cockpit for storage, like so. And so the first thing we're going to do here, also we have a rub sign, Decepticon symbols on the wings, but also a rub sign. Uh, we'll take Crunk and put him aside, um, and we'll transport, uh, transform him into uh, dyno mode. And for that, we'll we'll take off his guns here. My guns are also a little bit faded. You can see that's kind of a two-tone purple there. Uh, this one is looks different colors on it. either side. Obviously, we're in the sun at some point. Uh, we'll take off these these fins, and then what we'll do first is rotate these uh, legs or dino legs, sort of a little bit out of the way. Flip this panel down on the back top of the plane. Um, then uh, we're going to take these parts here and rotate them around and get these better out of the way. You kind of want them in that position. Do the same thing with this one. Like so, get this leg sort of like that. What you can also do with these is they have an articulating point here, which is very, very tight on both. And then you can flip out. These are the dino feet. Then what we're going to do, this is kind of already done. It's the, the little cockpit here you want to fold um, like, like so. Um, and this becomes the dino tail. And then we can also flip out these little T-Rex arms, which are a little awkward looking. Uh, and then get this, this is the neck sort of flipped out like so. And then we can get these in a more proper position. And there you have it pretty much transformed uh, into the dyno mode. I'm going to put him down for a minute. And then we have Crunk here. Just to give you a little idea of the Headmaster. Um, he's articulated at the waist. You can bend at 90 degrees. Um, and also at his knees. But his knees are connected. So you can move each leg individually but not at, the, you know, you can't, that's, that's the most articulation you can get out on the knees are connected. Um, the arms are actually poorly designed. They do move, um, although I, I hesitate doing this on video. 
I don't know if you can see there on the back of the uh, the red part of the arm they always uh, they always when you open them up the back part always hits the this part of the headmaster the white part um, and there's a bit of wear there and I'm, I'm just afraid that it's gonna pop off so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, and then transforming it into the dino head you just basically fold it up um, and he's got the pretty sharp teeth there and then we're gonna take this head and attach it like so and there you have Snapdragon in his dino mode or T-Rex mode or dragon uh, whatever you want to call it it's okay um, it's it's kind of awkward looking uh, you know just like with with a lot of triple changers it's really hard um, they, they sort of make these third modes um, they don't always look like they're supposed to these are his arms and they uh, they don't go up any higher than that other than um, at this articulation uh, they do go down um, and his head is not articulated at all the only thing it can do is is look up even more uh, but that's as low as it'll go uh, so that is snapdragon in dino mode you can also attach his guns to his back here uh, there's little ports back there uh, for like an attack mode So I'll take these back off. We're going to remove Crunk. His head is sort of like a triple chain or two, although it doesn't really. <laughs> you have the this is the the Dino mode, um, and then just flipping it over. There's your there's your robot head. So it, I guess it's you know there's no transformation involved. It does have three modes, so to speak. Uh, we're going to fold up these blue arms, um, and then we're going to flip the the Dino feet up back where they were and then we're just going to bring uh, these pieces fold them out all the way bring that around they're a little loose but he's going to stand up and they're going to hang down anyways uh, same thing here rotate that around straighten the legs these feet are so loose they just they just fall out um, and then we're going to bring the top part or the tail of the dyno or the, the front of the jet and just fold that. Uh, we're going to bring the panel, this panel back down and we're going to fold this back. And we're going to rotate these arms around like so. And there you pretty much have the robot transformation and we have the uh, headmaster um, you can flip this little panel down, chest panel, and then when you put the head on, it will reveal his, his uh, I think it's speed, strength, and intelligence, which are pretty high on, on, uh, on Snapdragon. Uh, pretty cool. And you can either have this down, this panel down, or you can leave it up. It's up to you. And then he can hold his guns. So, all in all, I mean, this is this is a G1. Um, I'm I'm pretty biased. I do I do I do like it. Uh, there's a little bit of back backpack kibble there, uh, but not bad. And and it, it actually has quite a bit of articulation. Uh, the shoulder, the elbows, which are actually very tight, um, and the the unfortunately the the fists are kind of built into the into into the arm there. They don't really come out. Uh, but we have, uh, it's sort of, it's not, you can't turn it at the waist, but at the hip, I guess you can, you can bend that up. And then it has knee articulation as well. Not bad for a G1.
So all in all, uh, if you can get your hands on this guy, uh, I like him. So uh, I think that's about it for this for this figure. Uh, it's been a while since I've been doing these, so um, I probably missed something. But um, I hope you enjoyed this anyway. This is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. The Doctor is out.